Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel again. So this is the sixth video of Click View playlist. So if you haven't watched the earlier video, just go and watch the earlier video to get more clarity on it. So in this video, we are going to learn how to import a data set in a Click View, and uh, the data set will be this one. So we had a data set called Bookshop, in which we have almost like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 uh, tabs but we are not going to update all the tabs but i will show you like how to update one or two so that you can get like clarity and you can do the same for others if you want to and if you want this data set to work on i will put this in my github and put the link in the description so that you can use this thing so yeah let's go so i will try to make a new one so that it will be easy for you to follow up with me so yeah, what you can do is you can just go and click this new button so if you uh, click this new button it will open up this format just ignore this you don't have to use this just cut it and try to press ctrl s if you press ctrl s it will pop up to ask you to save it so just save it like a demo to or something like that if you save it as a demo to now what you can do is you can press ctrl e or you can just click this edit script so what i can do is just click this edit script then it will open up this thing and it is like very similar you don't have to do anything with this what you can do is you can create a new tab so just go to tab add tab so just load like book my tab first name is book right uh, if you go here the first tab being book so i'm loading the book data so what i will do is if, uh, by double slash you can add comment so I'm just writing loading the book tab yeah and now you can do it just click this table file and just click this uh, just find where your flat file is present open it if you open it uh, just choose whatever tab you want to upload uh, tab being book and if header is in the perfect place or not so it is perfect so no need for it if you press next it will ask you to transformation if you press next it will ask you to type of table there so the one important thing i want to call out here is the cross table if you don't know about cross table then you can see like so cross table like sort of look like this where we have something on the uh, column level and something on the row level which combinedly define a value it's like desktop and organic search like there are 25 uh, values where there is desktop and they have searched organic search and the paid search, is uh, paid search is 20 in the desktop, email is 35 in the desktop and display is 20 in the desktop. So it sort of look like this, the cross table. So, yeah. so I don't think like we need any kind of transformation here. So I press finish. You can do is, uh, so click view is smart enough to identify the type of file and make your code look like this. So it means that this is the location where I'm uploading the data set from and we have embedded labels into this and the and the <coughs> best thing we can do is we just click on the top and write book and this colon so this is the table name we are giving book and we are loading book id title author id from this location so now book is uh, loaded what you can do is just control uh, if you click this button it will save it and if you click this reload it will load your data into your main file like into your uh, click view so if i click load so now you can see that this three fields are available so what uh, we can do is we can upload more of them so just press control or control e or just go back here edit script so if i go edit script again i can add new tab add tab so just for clarity like i am adding new tab for each tab because uh, it will make your code look very clear like whenever you come back you, you can see that the codes are in different tab it means like this is for this one this is for that one so we can use author so this is for author again the same thing click table data source just book where is your uh, uh, author so here is your author check is this correct or not format and everything yes it's look correct let's press finish so now this is author table so We'll just write author double quote so it means this is author name and 
so if you want to rename it so we can rename it but just say just for the sake i am not doing it but if you want it you can do it just like any name like if i want to use something like mm -mm -mm, this ex let's take an example for country of residence instead of country of residence i want to use as a country so what i can do is just press space and write as as is a command where you can uh, rename it so i can rename it as country yeah so now it's renamed and one more thing so you can see right the birthday is coming uh, not in this square bracket but it is coming this this word is coming on square bracket this is in square bracket so whenever you have a space between any of the name it will come on a square bracket to uh, so that click we can understand that this is a one field and and the whole difference like country of residence is a single field name so yeah this is that's why this is an square uh, like bracket i hope that makes sense here yeah? yeah and similarly again we can save it and we can reload it now you can see that we have author id birthday and everything if i cancel it and i press control t so if you uh, remember i gave you a shortcut called control t or you can just go there or you can press control e or you can directly go to edit edit script and you can on the top you can see this table view so now you can see that this author and this book are connected by author id right so you can add as number of as much number of tab you want from this data set and you can explore more so yeah in the next video i have some visuals that i was doing something on so i will walk you through with that so that you can get more clarity and i will like talk about different different type of sheet property that do we have and how can we use them and in the next video we we can talk about what is the difference between set and let so that's the two important word because if you remember this is if you go to main you can see here set set so what is the difference between set and let so in the next video we will cover that so thank you so much for watching this video thank you and have a nice day bye